I would like to welcome you to my channel, Divine Craft, where you get dazzled and enlightened on how to create grand fascinator designs that would stand you out and much more. So today we're going to be learning how to make this lovely design and in the course of it we'll learn how to make this leaf design and also this lovely coily what would we call it probably feelers i don't know what would you like to call it okay then we'll couple it up to form this lovely fascinator that stands out okay so remember our last challenge was what was the last challenge that was the question you had to answer and get three people to like your comment to win to attend brush class three for free and the winner is ichoma eziaka she got four people to like her comment all right so this is what she's going to be learning how to make these brooches there are four of them the brooch on this fascinator this petal brooch and this lovely lace brooch before we proceed click that subscribe button if you haven't and the bell so you get notified of my new videos so the first thing we're going to do is to make our leaf flower so i took an artificial leaf and i traced it okay but i know that i need a bigger one so i just give a distance from where i traced and traced a bigger one following the shape of what i traced from the original leaf all right the next thing i did was to cut it now take note this is thick part that is like cotton you can make use of a cotton what i did was just to get a pattern that i would use to cut my material with so i decided to use a pad but you can use a cotton or any other hard thing that you can be able to use to trace on the material okay so that's it then i'm checking it on the fascinator base and it just needs a little trimming to reduce the size to be perfect all right now that's perfect okay so i'm taking my poly material it's foam poly and i'm shaping it out yeah tracing the leaf out and I'm going to take my I'm, I need um, six pieces that's what I did six pieces I cut out six pieces so I actually used the straight scissors to cut it out first but after I did that I now took my zigzag scissors to give it that curvy look that zigzag look on the edge so you can cut it straight with the zigzag scissors all right the next thing I did was to mix my um, top bond I used top bond you can use stiffener but I tend to use top bond when I'm doing any other kind of um, molding aside um, cinnamon, paper mat and all the likes. When I make use of pad and clothes, I tend to make use of top bond. Okay, so I mix it and that's my consistency. And now I'm dipping my six leaves into the top bond. Once I'm done, I bring it out to put it on any surface you have anywhere i decided to use nylon and put it out in the sun to dry so now it's dried now if you look at it you can actually bend it and form a shape that you want although it kept on collapsing but it's not so dry and i needed to get this um, design out for you to watch so okay so now i'm trying to gather it to see how it would look and i think it's okay so I would um, take it one by one. I'll take my needle and my thread. Remember, it has to be a matching thread. And I start sewing it like so. Keep watching and learning. Oh, yes. And if you're interested in the brush class three, please do check the... Um, description of this video and you will see how to enter our reception to get to know all the trainings that are available in the Vet Craft Academy born and bettered by your desire all right let's get back into the training for today okay so that's it so i'm gonna tie it and cut it out now the next is to make those loops that you saw that are like fillers 
so okay I take my bronze hat wire and I use the fascinator base to gauge how I wanted to gauge how I wanted to be okay and it came out to 5.5 .5. all right so that's it I cut out four pieces and I'm going to use my um, bias black bias so depending on the color you want I'm going to use my black bias to wrap it all up okay keep watching and learning so this is wrapped spirally with the bias and then just stay tuned you soon get to see how it's carved let's move forward so that's our fascinator there and I'm checking where I'm going to put that leaf flower and that's it so these are the items we're going to be making use of this is our fascinator base you already know how to do this from the if you, you can check click the link up if you don't know how to make a fascinator base with pad I made this with pad all right then um, this is our leaf flower that you saw previously and these are the four antennas and this is the rose I don't know what called this rose but I made this rose also now this is rose if you want to know how to make it it's in our brush class 3 that our winner just won okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gum the um, leaf flower more so that it doesn't um, start raising up I want it firm so that's what I'm doing right now keep watching and learning once I'm done with that remember I have the spot where I want to place it on so I would just take the Uhu gum and then um, glue it there as well you might be wondering why I'm, I'm using gum and not sewing as usual um, this is actually very thick because I put it in a um, top bond and so it actually broke my needle so the option we have is to glue remember I said there are some exceptional cases okay next step is to take the rose that I made in brush class 3 and take my oo gum and also glue it on top of the leaf flower okay yeah it's a bit of a um, difference in this mold and but what actually happened was that I already molded this and it, it has been in my store for a very long time and so I decided to just use it to crop up a design but just in case you need to know how to mold this just let me know in the comment section below okay now it's time to cover antenna so you take your flat um, plier and you just use it to rotate the um, wrapped hat wire like so rotate it the way you want so that's how I'm doing it so just keep watching and learning if you have gained value so far in this video please do click that thumbs up button below this video to say you liked it Okay, that done. Let's see where we're gonna place it on the heart. So I'm checking it out before I put the glue so I know exactly where I want it to be. So I'd like to know how many things did you learn in today's video? Do write in the comment section the number of things and you can name them that you learned. Okay, it's time to glue it. So I'm gluing it now into position. Keep watching and learning. And voila, that is a great fascinator that stands out. What do you think? 
Thanks for staying till the very end.